Namaste and Satnam. My name is Devinder Kaur and I'm the owner and director of Pranashanti Yoga Center. And I'm excited to be here with you tonight to lead you through a practice in honor of the full moon that is happening actually right this evening. So our timing is perfect. And this is also the start of our social distancing edition of full moon practices with the city of Ottawa. So it's a really special and auspicious time for us to be practicing together. This full moon is a kind of a special full moon because there's also an eclipse associated with it. So if you follow a little bit along with astrology and that kind of stuff, you'll know that this is a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius and it's also got a, a sun happening at the same time in the sign of Gemini. So for full moon practices and in the time of the full moon we're often dealing with a polarity of not only the two planets but also what those planets represent. So with Sagittarius we have the feeling of intuition and the quest for meaning and kind of going beyond where we really normally stretch ourselves. But we have the polarity happening with Gemini, with the sun, which is actually very logical thinking and really likes things to stay kind of close and contained. So that's the polarity and the pull that we have going on for ourselves like over the next, I don't know, week to 10 days. And you can sometimes feel that within yourself and notice it in the way you're responding or acting in your day-to-day -day life. So it's just something to kind of hold in the back of your mind as we do our practice today. I have collected a series of postures for us to work with today and hopefully that will help to create some balance and balance out those two aspects. But don't forget we still have the eclipse to deal with. So the eclipse with that brings with us an extra emphasis, an emphasis that expands the qualities of the full moon. Along with that, it's also very much about relationships, how we interact with each other, um, and it's also really an ideal time for us to clear any patterns, clear any attitudes or any expressions that we want to kind of release. Because you know, the energy of a full moon is actually one of very much expansion and opening. So this actually gives us almost like a portal to be able to expand ourselves even more and clear. They actually say in the light of the full moon, everything kind of shines and shows up a little bit brighter. So anyways, we will get into a beautiful practice together and we will finish off our practice with a very relaxing and calming and grounding meditation. So let's start off. Bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center, which is called Anjali Mudra. And close your eyes here for a few moments. Relax your shoulders back and down. And take some long, slow, deep breaths. tension of the day go and also know in this time of the full moon coming into your practice this is a, a really beautiful time to explore and honor your own emotional needs so relax into this sit comfortably whatever posture works for you take your time Slow your breath down. Let's start to work a little bit more with our breath. So with every inhale, draw in a little bit more, fill the lungs. And as you exhale, let all the breath go. You can even exhale through your mouth if you like, if that helps you to relax a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. Feel all the way up to the top of your collarbones. And then slowly exhale, let it all go. A couple more times, deep breath in. 
and let it all go. One more deep breath. And exhale. We're next going to chant the sound of Aum to start our practice. Aum is a universal sound, sound of the universe, the sound of creation. Chant it together one time. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale to chant. Oh. And let your hands relax down onto your knees. If any time you need to stretch your legs out during our practice, feel free to do that. I'm going to stay in easy pose for the first posture. And it's a torso roll, so holding on to your knees. Circle your upper body around your hips. Doesn't matter which direction you start, pick one way to go, because we will go back the other way in a few moments. So circle all the way around. If it helps you to stay more focused, close your eyes or make the gaze a little softer. Try to flex your spine as you circle. Lifting your chest across the front and then rolling around the back. This is a great posture to release some tension from the lower back and it helps to open up the hips a little bit too. So we'll go around a few more times. And the next time you come around to the front, make a little pause and then go back the other way. Circle the opposite way. You can see how it feels a little different. One side always feels kind of smooth and the other side, the other way around sometimes feels like you're going more around like in a square. But that's okay. It's each side of the body is not exactly the same. Use your breath as you circle. You can do this a couple of ways too. You can inhale as you come across the front. Exhale as you go around the back. Or you can also do inhale one big circle. And then exhale on the next circle. We'll go around a few more times. Now inhale deeply, come to the center, lengthen up tall through your spine, suspend the breath, and then exhale, let the breath go. Close your eyes here for a moment, take a couple of deep breaths, feel grounded in your posture. come into our next asana or posture. We'll stretch our legs out to the front to begin with this one. So just take a moment to stretch out your legs, shake out your legs a little bit from sitting in easy pose, supasana. Roll the feet around the ankles. That's another good thing to do to free up the ankles. And then we'll keep the left leg extended straight out and bend the right knee, tucking the right foot to the inside of the left thigh to come into a Janusarasana pose. And then inhale, draw your arms up overhead, reach up tall, point the left toes up at the same time. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, come back up again, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, come on up, lengthen up tall. This time, exhale, fold forward and stay down, holding where you can comfortably reach. You can also place your hands on either side of your leg as well. Relax the arms, let the head drop down. I'm gonna let gravity do the work here for us. 
taking some long, slow, deep breaths. Two or three more full, deep breaths. Let your body sink in, letting the gravity do the job for us. On your next inhale, bring your arms back up with you, reach up tall, and then exhale, sweep the arms out to the side and down. Shake out the right leg. And of course, you know we're gonna do the other side because we wanna keep things really balanced in our practice today. So stretch the right leg out this time. Toes pointing up. Inhale, draw the arms up, reach up tall. Exhale, fold forward and down. I'm going to do two more times. Inhale, come on up. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhaling up. Reach up tall. Exhale, fold forward and down. And this time we'll stay down again. Relax the head and neck and shoulders and arms. And even put one hand either side. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Gentle stretch, this gets into the hamstrings. Just like we did on the other side, letting our body naturally fold forward. No need to push. On your next inhale, start to rise back up, arms come up. Exhale, arms out to the side and floating all the way down. Let's stretch the left leg out. So both legs out now, shake it out a little bit. Then we'll come into a wide leg position. So that's where you're gonna take both legs out to the sides. Just a little bit. Usually what I find works really good is if you go out almost to your maximum and then come in about an inch so you don't overstretch through the groin. Inhale, draw both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, both arms over to one foot. Inhale, come back up. Exhale over to the other side. At your own pace, inhaling up, exhaling forward. Do a couple more on each side. Inhale, come up to the top, reach up tall. And on the exhale now, separate. Bring arms out to the each side. Hold on to your legs or your toes, wherever you can comfortably reach. You can even place the hands on the floor in front of you. A light forward fold and come all the way down as far as you want to go. Hold on to the legs or the feet. It's up to you. And letting again gravity do the work. No need to push. Feel a deeper stretch now. Take a couple more full deep breaths. And then inhale, arms come up with you, reaching up tall. And then exhale, sweep the arms out to the side, all the way back down. Hands to the thighs, bring the legs back in, soles of the feet together. So like cobbler's pose or a bound angle pose. You can hold on to your feet or the ankles. And then inhale, lengthen up tall. Exhale, folding forward down through the front. Letting the hips open a little bit. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Soft through your face.
On your next inhale, start to lift yourself back up. As you come up, bring the hands closer to the knees and use your hands to help lift the knees up. Draw the knees in. Let the hips settle a little bit. And we'll change our posture now. Come to lie down onto our back. Coming now down onto the mat. Keep the knees bent. Have your feet about the width of your hips. Bring your arms down by your side. Lightly tuck the chin in to create a nice long lengthening of the back of your neck. Coming into a half bridge pose or a pelvic lift posture, inhale, draw the hips up, tucking the chin towards the chest. You can also bring the arms up either side and use that to support you to lift the chest. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Gentle back bend. Inhale deeply, and then exhale, roll the spine down. Tailbone, the last part to come down. Draw the knees in, use your hands to pull the knees towards the belly. You can also separate the knees as well and do it as a more of a wide leg posture. Take some long, slow, deep breaths here. And then inhale deeply. Exhale, release the pull of the legs. Bring the arms down by your side, palms down. And inhale, extend the legs straight up. So now you're like a big letter L. On the exhale, lower the legs down towards the ground. Uh-oh, that's an abdominal exercise coming on now. Inhale, draw the legs up. Exhale, lower the legs down. We gotta do a little bit of something to get the abdominals working here. That's your third chakra, the navel center. Gives you stability, core strength. It's kind of like your fortitude, your will and drive. We need that during the full moon because it's a powerful energy. Let's do a couple more. On your next one, inhale, bring the legs up, point the toes, and then exhale, lower the legs down to the floor. Separate your heels, turn your palms face up. Take a few deep breaths here, let your body relax, let the abdominal muscles soften. And even place your right hand on your belly, left hand at the center of your chest where your heart center is. Take some long, slow, deep breaths here to center, calm. Connecting the navel center and the heart center. A soothing and relaxing gesture for yourself. A few more long, slow, deep breaths. And inhale deeply. And then exhale, let the arms slide and the hands slide back off, out to the side, palms facing up. Bring the legs in closer together. Draw your knees in. Use the hands to hold the legs again. And from here, either rock side to side or start to rock up and down the length of your spine. And we'll bring ourselves back up into an easy pose or seated posture. Coming into some twisting poses now. So bring the hands onto the knees, roll your shoulders back a couple of times, lengthen up tall, close your eyes. 
Let your body and your sensory system adjust to the change. Bringing your hands slightly out to the side. Inhale, deeply draw the arms up. You can look up at the thumbs. And on the exhale, right hand to left knee as your left hand comes behind you to support you and you look over your shoulder. You can use your fingertips to give a little extra lift. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale deeply, both arms come back up, reach up tall. Exhale, switch sides, left hand to right knee, looking over your right shoulder. And do one more round on each side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, switch. Right hand to left knee. And last side, inhale both arms up, stretch. Exhale over to the other side. Finish off, inhale, both arms come up. You can bring the palms together above your head, look up at your thumbs. Exhale, sweep the arms out to the side and down. Bring the hands back onto the legs, close your eyes, focus in for a moment, sense into your body. Remembering in this Sagittarius moon to focus into our intuition. So anytime you like to activate your intuition a little bit more, focus to the third eye point, the space between your eyebrows. It's the energetic point for the pituitary gland. Take a couple more full, expansive breaths. And from here, we'll move into table pose. So coming onto our hands and knees, swing the legs around. Come onto your all fours and table. Place your hands roughly under your shoulders, knees, about hip distance apart, with the tops of the feet on, your, on the floor. And then inhale, sway the belly down, lift the head up, that's cow. Exhale, arch the spine, let the head hang down, that's cat. Inhale, the belly comes down as your head goes up. Exhale, arch the spine. Let's move as smoothly as we can in between those two postures to open up the spine. Flexible spine. Moves the fluid through the spine. Combine that with your breath. Opens up the energy channels that run through the body as well. Let's do a few more repetitions. And then inhale deeply, come into cow pose. So sway the belly down, lift the head up. Open the eyes and look up to give the eyes a little stretch. And then exhale, arch the spine, let the head hang down. And then inhale, come to a flat back. Bring the knees in a little bit closer together. You can also adjust the hands if you need to roll the wrists out a little bit. And from here, we'll inhale, extend the right leg out behind us as we lift the head and chest. Exhale, bring forehead towards the knee. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, together. Let's do a few more. And 
And on your next one now, inhale, stretch the leg out, lift the leg, lift the head and chest. Exhale, lower the knee back to the floor. Adjust your position, roll the wrists if you need to. And let's switch sides, keeping everything balanced. Inhale, left leg comes out and up. Exhale, head to knee. Last couple of times, use the breath. Inhale, deeply stretch the leg out, lift the head and chest. Exhale, bring the knee back down. Coming into child pose or baby pose, open the knees wider, walk your hands forward. You can also rest on the forearms or bring your forehead to the ground. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Start to deepen your breath. Take a deep breath in as you walk your hands in a little closer. Bring the knees in a little closer. Come back up onto the hands and knees into table. From here, bring the hands in even closer and come back up onto your knees. From here, we'll step our left foot out to the front. And we're looking to create a little bit of a lunge type position. So in this posture, we're looking for the right leg on this side to come to about a 45 degree angle. You can keep the hands on top of the left knee or thigh if you like. You can also bring the hands to the heart. You can also bring the arms up overhead. Create a little back bend and hold for a few slow deep breaths. Inhale deeply, arch back a little bit further if that's open for you. Exhale, bringing the hands back down, either side of your left foot, do a little opposite stretch, sit back, let the left leg get the extension. Inhale, come back up, and we'll bring the, right leg, uh, the left leg back in, and we'll switch over to the right side. So bring the right foot out, and again, we're looking for that angle. So scoot your toes a little bit further forward if you need more space. Options, hands on the knee or thigh, hands together at the heart center, or taking it up, adding the back bend, focus your gaze, Build your focus, build your balance. Couple more full deep breaths. Inhale deeply, a little bit more in the back. Exhale, coming forward with the hands, hands to the floor. Let's give the right leg that extra stretch, so sitting back. Inhale, come back up. Coming into cat-cow, hands roughly shoulder distance apart, knees apart. Inhale as you sway the belly down, lift the head up. Exhale, arch the spine. Smooth transitions. Noticing how your spine feels now after we've done a variety of asanas. Focus on the breath. 
and the movement a few more times. Inhale deeply, lower the belly down, lift the head up, eyes open, looking upwards. And then exhale, arch the spine, pull the needle in, hold the breath out. Inhale to a flat back, and then take it back to sit in to child's pose, lower yourself down, rest on the forearms or extend the arms out knees apart. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. And then inhaling, start to bring the hands in closer to your knees, lifting yourself up. Bring the knees closer together and sit to one side and extend your legs out and we'll come to lie down for our relaxation now, Shavasana. Extend your legs out, come lying down onto your space, let your arms extend out to the sides, palms facing up, take your feet wide, heels maybe about 18 inches apart. Let the feet fall out to the sides. Close your eyes. Open up the shoulders across your back. You may even want to rock your head a little side to side to find a good spot for the head to rest. Palms open to receive. Soften through your face, your jaw. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out through your mouth. <sighs> Feeling your body dropping into the space. Deep breath in again. And sigh it out. <sighs> Let all the tension go from your body so you can feel rejuvenated. Relax your face, soften your eyes. Slowly, slowly let your body sink in and soften. Take some slow, deep breaths. Take your time and know that you have lots of time. Lots of time to relax here. Lots of time to let your body adjust to integrate all that we've done. To bring you into a clarity in this time of the full moon. That's letting the body sink in. Create the balance that you need. Completely letting yourself go. Clearing and releasing. few more slow, deep breaths. Gradually start to bring your awareness back, back into your body, back into the awareness around you, into the space around you. You want to wiggle your fingers, wiggle the toes, take a deep inhale and 
Stretch your arms way up above your head. Exhale, bring the arms down. Also want to bend your knees, do some cat stretches, or let the knees go side to side. And then draw the knees in towards your body. Give them a little squeeze in and rock side to side. Start to rock up and down the length of your spine. And we'll come to meet up together, sitting in easy pose or in any comfortable seated posture that works for you. We'll finish off our practice with a little meditation, a beautiful meditation to create calmness, create relaxation within ourselves, and to create openness. So we'll come to sit back up. In this meditation, we're going to use a mudra, a hand position, which involves placing all the fingertips together and create a space in between the palms of your hands. Let your arms relax by your side. Let the thumbs point towards your body. And put a little bit of pressure on the fingertips so that you can really feel the connection at each fingertip. And close your eyes, soft gaze. And inhale deeply through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. So it's a back and forth with the breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Go at your own pace. We'll do a few more rounds. Alternate the breath. Don't worry if it gets a bit muddled up. Just pick it back up again. Great balance in yourself. Groundedness and ease. Inhale deeply through your nose. Pause. And then exhale, relax your hands down to your legs. Stay still for a moment. Come into your own stillness. Notice how you're feeling. Aware of your breath and how you're breathing. Bring the palms of our hands back into Anjali Mudra like we did at the very beginning. Let the hands press together with some firmness that also helps to create balance. Let the thumbs touch to the chest, that's the heart center. Close your eyes for a moment or soften your gaze. Maybe there's an intention or an awareness that you would like to bring into your thoughts now to carry you into this beautiful full moon and eclipse. Some of the things that we were talking about at the beginning. Tapping into our intuition, maintaining balance with logical thinking. Being aware of our relationships and our patterns. What can we shift or what can we change to create new expressions for ourselves? Maybe we want to explore some of our own emotional needs at this time and see where that will take us. a moment to bring into your thoughts your way of closing your practice. 
We'll chant the sound of Om together one time. Do a couple of breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale to chant. Oh. Namaste. Thank you for joining us for practice tonight. Wishing you all the best for this beautiful full moon. May we all live in peace. Thank you.